right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Guess what? It is that time again. Let's go. Let's summon. Um, so I have Goku, Tien, and Piccolo Jr. all rainbowed. Right? We're looking good. Is there sound? Yeah, there is. Okay, I was like, wait, wait, what? Sound? Uh, okay, so I have um, Goku, Tien, and Piccolo Jr. all rainbowed. We're looking for Krillin here. Now, this, of course, is where we get to the, the kind of terrible part of summoning, right? Where it's like, all right, cool. Like, you know, we got Piccolo Jr. What? Okay. Sure. <laughs> what? Nice. Okay. Well, that's one out of four down. Awesome. Um, but typically, it's more fun to summon when it's like, oh, Zeno, yo, right? Or, oh, we, but... You know, if I've already got Piccolo Jr. rainbowed. Um, I guess I, I am pretty pleased with the celebration that Dokkan's got going on here. Um, I feel like these picks, the, the, this was a great pick for Golden Week. Um, I think Piccolo Jr. is a very strong villain character. Um, you know, he, you might look at Piccolo Jr. and think, oh, okay, like, you know, it's he's just like a Namekian character, right? Like, we're going to pair him with, like, Orange Piccolo and stuff like that. And it's like, he, in terms of links, Piccolo Jr. really is more of just a traditional villain character, right? He doesn't have the Namekian link or, you know, Brainiacs, Gaze of Respect, like a lot of different sort of links you would um, identify with a lot of the Namekian characters. Piccolo Jr. actually doesn't have, right? So I, I think that Dokkan, number one, they nailed a huge sort of like uh, issue we have, which is uh, we... It's not that we have weak villains. It's just that, you know, for every, I don't know, seven or eight hero characters they drop, we get, like, two villains. Like, like out of ten, like, seven or eight will typically be super class characters. And then it's like, you know, we get two or three villains. Um, now, I don't think it's an issue so much, but we need, like, specifically villain 200% leaders, I think, is our main issue. Unfortunately, the last two villain 200% leaders though both are kind of I, I would say they're kind of head scratchers um in super 17 not a fan of his team and then I mean honestly Piccolo Jr.'s team is not the craziest ever either um certainly there's probably some I don't know they could give him buffs I do think that the Dokkan Fest uh easy eight like sort of like oh okay cool Chi Lai that's cool uh, I do think that the Dokkan Fest Piccolo, who's going to get his EZ in a couple of days, I mean, he certainly could help, but in terms of links, how many links do they share? It it, it might just be just Fierce Battle. I, I don't think that they share very many links. That, that That's, again, that's kind of the thing. Like, Piccolo Jr. is more of a villain. Um, now, because I like the fact that they dropped a villain, you know, Golden Wing Celebration, I might actually come back. Um, and do, like, another, uh, summon video. I'm, I might go for the rainbow on the SSR of Piccolo Jr. and, um, Goku. I'm thinking about it. We'll see, because right now, we just pulled our second copy of Krillin. So, I do still have to pull three Krillins in this video. Uh, I'm hoping to speed up the, the pace of my summons here. L you know, I I'm trying to get Krillin done right here. Um, so, I have seven Piccolo Juniors. So, I, I actually only need three to rainbow his SSR. That could be pretty good for chain battle, too. We'll we'll see what it's going to look like. But I could imagine, like, Piccolo Jr. potentially being, like, a like maybe a main attacking character. And, like, a, our number one sort of, like, supporter or whatever like that. Like, having two rainbow Piccolo Juniors might actually be a huge asset. It's going to be interesting because the, the chain battle is against uh, Shen. Right, that's Kami um, in disguise and a human's body. Um, so we'll we'll see um, what the characters are going to be. I presume it's mostly going to be the 23rd World Tournament characters, right? So like we would see, you know, Goku and the Krillin and the Tien and those characters. All right, now here's where it sucks that we're chasing the one banner units is this, right? We get the Vegito animation, and that's not like the Vegito animation can't be proking. For Krillin, unfortunately. We could still get Krillin in the multi, but this won't proc for him. I don't mind getting Beast Gohan right there. Um, because I, I still need to rainbow Beast Gohan's T U R and SSR. Uh I, I I did I do have like, you know, like I I've already cleared my box from my big summon stream the other day. 
And I do have, like, kind of like it, you know, where I've got the TUR Beast, I've got the SSR Beast, uh, but I do still need to just get some dupes. I imagine we would have another chain battle at some point where those characters would be relevant. Oh, brother. Yep. We better buckle in. I, I've got that good old feeling. I mean, thank God, first multi uh, we opened up with a Krillin. That was a huge W. Now, let me take a look at the banner unfeatured. Let me see the unfeatured banner units. You know, I don't have Frost, his SSR, at all. I wouldn't mind pulling Frost. And then the Rage, Vegeta, Dr. Zhou, and Mew, Gotenks, and Piccolo, and Ice, and Nova. Uh, all of those characters, I could still use dupes to rainbow their SSRs. Yeah, Ice and Nova, dude. I don't know. I, I, I just have no clue what they were thinking releasing that character. Ice Shenron and Nova Shenron. Just like a, an abysmal release. They're easily one of the worst releases, one of the worst characters Dokkan has ever put out. I, I am still leaning towards saying that they might be the single worst character, Ice and Nova. Because they have no team, they have no role, they're not even that impressive. There's just, like, nothing. Like, I, I mentioned this before, but, you know, you could point out, like, Int Android 16, who also just has a dreadful design. Just, ugh, stinky. But, like, at least he was giving the huge support to Gohan, right? Like, back in the day. Like, what do Ice and Nova do? They don't, they don't do anything. But, yeah, I, I guess... So we're mainly, we're looking for three characters. Uh, I'll take Piccolo Jr. We'll take Krillin, of course, is the main thing we're hunting. Um, and then there's also Frost. Frost, uh, I'll get his SSR. Frost is another character I hate. I mean, you look at how busted Krillin and Tien are. And then you, you go back and look at that Frost. And he just, oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is what we're looking for right here. Uh, if we get something like this, Gohan and Piccolo... This is an animation, so we could be walking out of here right here with a Krillin. Um, Gohan and Piccolo, right? Like, that, it could just be, like, you know, Cooler Beast or something like that. But, you know, th this probably is going to be a featured unit. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay. All right, this is going pretty good. I mean, we need four Krillins. We've pulled two very fast, right? We're, what, like 500 stones in? 500-ish? This is going pretty good. Nice. Krillin is super good, too. Like, there's no way I'm walking out of here um, without rainbowing Krillin. Uh, Krillin, he, he's just going to be so strong. He's going to be so effective um, alongside... Uh... Huh. Well? Okay. I'm, I mean, yeah. Uh, yep. Thank you, um, Dokkan. Uh, thanks. I'm... <laughs> uh, I am not complaining. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. Uh, this is this is going pretty good. Instantaneous three Krillins. I will take that. So we need one Krillin and we're done. Oof. You know, I'm always sitting here telling people um, to accept your Ws and don't really sort of like... So, like, like, you know, I'll stream, you know, the summons, you know, when they come out and stuff like that. Um, and someone will be like, oh, truth, I... I pulled Piccolo Jr. first multi, and I'll tell them, okay, awesome. Uh, stop summoning, right? Take your W, walk away. I may do that. Like, if we get another Krillin really quick here, maybe I won't rainbow Piccolo Jr.'s SSR or Goku's SSR. Because it's like, this This is going just a little bit too fire right now, I'm saying, right? Like, dude, these Krillins. Come on, Krillin. Come on, Krillin. Let, let's get me out of here man i'm loving this i'm loving this so far dokkan finally is looking out for me all right there's beerus beerus is always exciting to see i guess i mean sure i'll take another piccolo jr again i've got seven so we would need three of him uh in order to finish him off all right what do we got here it's a bunch of crap I, the other thing too is it took me a long time to clear out my box after these last uh summons the my summon stream recently because I, you know, I have never, through years, I've never kept a lot of the SRs and rare characters, right? Like, almost always, I've just always bobbed them. So, I, I finally went through and kind of kept, like, all of them, pretty much, right? So, now I have, like, all the rare characters. Okay, Piccolo Jr., that's a W. I mean, if we're going to pull anything besides Krillin, that's who we're looking for right there. So, that's number eight. Man, only two more. How about we just do multi right here, boom, 
And then we get Krillin, and then two Piccolo Juniors, and then we're we're skedaddling, we're skating here. I feel like these summons actually have, like overall my summons and these banners haven't been that bad. I definitely have used a lot of stones for sure, but um, I would say this this has really sort of worked out rather well for us um, overall. Right, haven't really. Because it, it's like sometimes, right, you, you start doing summons on, on banners and stuff like that with this. And it's like when you start to get, you know, two and three and four thousand stones deep, stuff like that. Since it's like you, you pulled the unit we're looking for, that always is just the absolute worst. But um, that's not really something that's happened, right? It's like we, we keep getting these characters um, pretty quickly here, which I think is really, really good, right? Uh, let me keep my sanity, please. Because we have a we'll have a summonable LR coming up in about uh, two or three weeks. I think we could probably expect a summonable LR probably like May 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. In that range, that week, um, I think is where we're going to see the next summonable LR. And we'll, we'll see what summonable LR it's going to be, too. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be um, some sort of Dragon Ball Saga character. I'm, I'm I, I think it's probably going to be another Piccolo. Because uh, I saw the official Dragon Ball like Twitter account uh, sort of like tweeting about Piccolo. And they're going to do like Piccolo stuff on Goku Day. Which does make sense, again, because May 9th originally in the series, uh, Piccolo um, does, uh, declare May 9th as Piccolo Day, right? So, because of that, um, I feel like they could, you know, wrap for, instead of Goku Day being, you know, Gohan, Goten, Goku, and stuff like that, they could just go the Piccolo route with it, which would make a ton of sense, um, with where we're sitting right now with this celebration having a ton of Piccolo characters, right? Like, Piccolo is one of the Dokkan Fest, Piccolo is the main, um, EZA, so let's go ahead and see what we get right here. Um, you know, I, I, the thing is, is Demon King Piccolo, I think would be a really cool, um, summonable LR, but Demon King Piccolo, he's in, okay, so Kid Buu and Omega Shenron are at this point kind of like infamous, right? They're characters that like need LRs. I guess, well, Omega has never been a part of an LR, but Sin Shenron has, right? Sin Shenron um, he's in the, the army of Shadow Dragons or Legion of Shadow Dragons or whatever, right? However, um, Omega Shenron doesn't actually have an LR. So Kid Buu and Omega, they need LRs, right? They don't even really need to be Dokkan Fest. They need to be, I think, LR characters. That That's kind of like, you know, some characters need Dokkan Fest, some characters need LRs. Well, Demon King Piccolo, I think, is a character that doesn't need a um, LR, Demon King Piccolo, he needs a Dokkan Fest. At this point, damn. Okay, we got Gohan and Piccolo, which is good. But, unfortunately, it's a Super Vegito animation. So, this is a Dokkan Fest exclusive character. Remember, if we would get Vegito Blue on this banner or the other banner, it means you're getting, okay, Orange Piccolo or Beast Gohan. So, we're one copy away from Rainbow and Piccolo Jr.'s SSR. Huh. Damn, now I'm kind of just, now I'm sitting here like, oh, brother, can I, can I really stop? Like, if we get Krillin on this next multi, do I just stop one Piccolo Jr. away? Probably not. I, I feel like these summons have gone too good. Let's see. So, there's three featured characters I think we haven't pulled so far in the video. Physical Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Tech Janemba, and Tech Gohan, right? We, we pulled all the other featured units so far in this. Oh damn, dude! This is this is gone. This has gone pretty well. We're we're a thousand stones in. Three Krillins, two Piccolo Juniors. Damn, game has been coming up clutch. Okay, here we go. So again, if it's v if it's Vegito Blue, then that would be Beast Gohan. I I wouldn't mind pulling Beast either. Um, I, I probably at the end when I'm done with my summons, um, I probably would just uh Rainbow Beast potentially. Okay, well yeah, there he is. Um, if I would still need copies to rainbow his TRSR, I might just buy him with red coins. Um, because at this point, I have, you know, I, I've used a lot of red coins throughout the years just as, like, Elder Kai's, right? Like, I don't know, like, I've, I've used it to get, like, a bunch of, like, Rose Goku Black characters and, you know, like, Super Saiyan Goku characters, stuff, stuff like that. 
and just raw fed them in. So I've gone through a ton of red coins. Um, I guess I might... There are still uh, some very old Dokkan Fest exclusive characters, SSRs. I'm still looking for. Maybe saving up red coins for them could be a good idea, right? So an example is like uh, STR and Physical Omega Shenron. I don't have either of their SSRs, right? Like just hanging on to them. Oh, Goku and Gohan. This is an animation, right? Okay. Oof, this could be Krillin right here. Do we keep going if we just get Krillin? Hmm. Let's see. No, okay, Goku and Gohan is not an animation. That that does seem a little bit weird, but sure, 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 sure. Look at me. I mean, I don't think anyone has summoned more than me. And I was like, well, Goku and Gohan, that's an animation, right? I guess not, no, because... If it's an animation, right, we either get a featured unit or three SSRs, which neither of those we got. All right, let's see what uh, Dokkan is going to spit out for us here. By the way, what one other thing I should mention is that I don't know that it matters. I actually haven't looked. Let's look at Piccolo Jr.'s SSR. Because remember, he has a different name. Piccolo Jr. and um, the, the TUR. Because the TUR is Piccolo Jr. Giant Form, right? Whereas the SSR is just Piccolo Jr. So he doesn't get defense on super attack effects. Um, still builds up with super attacks. It, it's just like he's missing a huge... Like he doesn't have his intro and his huge intro buff is not there. His super attack build up, right? It's five supers to get to 100% as a TUR. But it's only five supers to get to 50% as an SSR. He does have an additional still as the second or third attacker in a turn. This could be Piccolo Jr. right here. I think we got a real good shot of Piccolo Jr. right here. All right, cool. Yeah, and I mean, he would link up rather well with uh, the TUR too. Hmm, I wonder... Oh, okay, well, this this fraud right here. That's exactly that guy is a fraud. Don't, don't let anyone deceive you. God damn it. Don't let anyone deceive you into thinking that he's good. What? What? Bro. I gotta take... That's a, that's a screenshot-worthy multi right there, right? Like, that's... It looks... I, look at... Goku, Gohan, then Gohan, then Goku, then Gohan, then Goku, then Gohan. Like, what is this? What? What is this multi? <laughs> Alright, well... We hadn't pulled that fraud in this video up until now, but now we have pulled him. Again, people will cope for that character, but he is absolutely just, at this point, a complete glass cannon. Um, you're just praying for additional supers with him. It's uh, The luster of that character is long gone, right? He, he is from a pre-Red Zone era. That Goku sucks. Do not let people pretend like he's good. No way. It's a struggle for that Super Saiyan three Goku to even tank normals a lot of the time. No way, Jose. Like, I, I probably... Until he easy A's, I, I'm probably not going to be using him very much. Maybe, like, the one thing about him is he is on a ton of teams, right? At Goku, so maybe I could use him on, I don't know, the Super Saiyan 3 category mission or something like that. Like, that's where I would use that guy. But for the most part, he he's just... He's a... Again, he, he's a character that came out in 2021. We're in 2023, right? Like, it's, it's just how it goes. Um, as time goes on, stronger characters come out. Other characters fade away. This could be Piccolo Jr. as well right here. All right. Been a little while since we've gotten Krillin. And there's still two featured units we haven't pulled in this video so far. Tech Janemba and Tech Gohan. We haven't pulled Tech Janemba, right? That Goku, okay. I mean, I guess I'll take... Uh, damn it. All right, here we go. Um, I guess I'll take the Super Saiyan Goku. I could use him as an Elder Kai. Um, I, I actually do have a lot of Super Saiyan Gokus that still need um, to be SA-10. Like, just like SSRs of various... Because there's so many Super Saiyan Goku characters, right? I know we had that April Fool's Day event with the, the Gokus we could farm up. But I just spend my time Link leveling mostly instead. Rather than grinding up like a million of those Super Saiyan Gokus. I mean, that was a viable strat because that Goku's drop rate was pretty good. I mean, new free-to-play characters and like new events that uh, would come out, 
drop rates typically are pretty good, right? It's not the old days where, like, metal drops and stuff like that are just abysmal, right? Like, a lot of people don't have a lot of the hero and villain extermination event, like, characters done just because they don't want to grind it. It's not as bad as people say, especially with auto being a thing, right? Like, I, like unless the content is actually difficult where you have to actually, like, you know, put thought into the team you're bringing and the characters you're moving around... It, it takes two seconds to grind up even medals from the Hero and Villain Extermination event. Again, with it, just auto. Like, it's it's really not that bad. Um, but, of course, compared to new stuff that's recently come out. And, you know, that's just, like, very, very simple to do. Um, okay. How about some... A uh, Piccolo Jr., at least. At this point, we've now gone so long since our last Piccolo Jr. too that I, I'm probably pretty comfortable just going for him too. I should be careful though because this banner has eight featured characters on it. LR Super Boost banner, which came out a couple of weeks, only had seven featured characters on it. And there, I did go on a very, very, very long stretch without pulling that Super Boo. So I, I don't I wouldn't want to test things, but I mean we are one piccolo away, right? Like uh, Am I really gonna just stop one copy away from him? No way. Nah, no way, bruh. We gotta we gotta finish it up. Alright, give me one of the two though. God damn it. Thing about me is like I'm I'm really just like blabbering away more so than paying the most close attention. So, I mean, we're now... We gotta be, like, seven or 800 away, at least, from the last Krillin and Piccolo, right? I think. I feel like we're not even really getting too many featured units anymore. That... Dude, that bastard Physical Super Saiyan 3 blew... We blew our load with that one. Triple Physical Super Saiyan 3 multi, man. Pulling a fraud of a character over and over and over and over. All right, what now? What now? Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, brother. Okay. By the way, that Android 18, right? Her art coming from the Dragon Ball Super... That's from an ending, right? That's from... Uh, I think it's from Boogie Back, right? Uh, they got to do more characters like that. Actually, we have summonable LRs from a lot of, like, intros and stuff like that now, right? Like, the... Uh, the, the Carnival LRs from the 8th Anniversary, the, the Kid Gohan and the Goku. Um, damn it, there's Cooler again. Uh, they're from uh, intros. Uh, we still need to get a Limit break uh, limit Breaker X Survivor uh, LR character. That would be pretty fire. Like, probably some... Maybe some sort of... I guess it would just be like a base Goku or a blue Goku, huh? Probably a blue Goku. Because Goku does doesn't really use UI in the intro, right? Like, he kind of just, like... Like, there's that one shot. Everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about, but it's like, he's not, like, actually UI in that. I remember we saw that, um, and it's like... Everyone was so excited to see Goku's new form, and then I remember they did tweet out, like, a official artwork, of, and everyone was calling it Limit Breaker Goku. I gotta still have some Dokkan videos called, like... Limit Breaker Goku summons and stuff like that, because the character was out in Dokkan, like, 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 we found out the name, and the character was, like, in Dokkan, like, almost at the exact same time, like, it was so, that night was so crazy, I, I mentioned this too, but we probably wouldn't see stuff like that again, so, like, it, let's say the anime comes back, and it's like, oh, damn, Broly just went into, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Uzaro mode, right? Like, Wrath Broly Super Saiyan 3 version, new character. I don't think we would get that unit, like, the same day like we would have years ago. Because they have to actually create the animations, right? They try and be so faithful and have it be one-to-one. -one. So, it's like, even if, you know, the anime comes back and we get, like, new hot stuff like that. Oh, God. Alright, this is starting to get annoying now. Um, I don't think it would be, like, units dropping the same day like it was back then. Because if you guys remember, when UI Goku originally came out, along with his debut episode, his animation was just, he just did a generic-ass Kamehameha, right? And he didn't even have his Dokkan Awakening and stuff like that. Even, like, Vegito Blue pretty much had just, like, a generic Kamehameha. 
Like, it's like, it's not like that these days where these characters have these, like, huge elaborate animations. They're going to have intros and actives and standby and transformations and all these types of things. All right, well, here we go. Yep, the game couldn't have just, you know, licked my balls for me. It had to just pound my asshole inside out. How good. Lovely. It's like one copy away from each, and the game is just like, ha, <laughs> Oh, you think you're done, huh? Think you're done, huh? Yeah, we're in hell now. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Here we go. Uh, buckle in. Only one copy away, huh? Yeah, easy peasy, man. He's coming right up. Nope. Jesus. The other thing, too, is we just had, a, like, that that blue Goku, we pulled him, like, what, like, two multis apart, and we just did the same thing with STR damn Piccolo, too. Oh, my God. Please, Dokkan. Give me Piccolo Jr. first so I feel better about... Because, I mean, if we get Krillin, I'm probably going to keep summoning to just Rainbow Piccolo Jr. I don't really want to do another summon video. I hate summoning in general. I hate doing summon videos. Um, so please just give me both, like, real fast, and we could just be done here. What am I going to do? Put up another summon video? I, I hate... Bro, I, I try my damnedest these days to rainbow everything in the initial stream and just be like, all right, we're done summoning, right? Like, but, like, nope. The game... The game is like, nah. Nah. Because with a, with a dual Dokkan Fest banner, it is it is tough to rainbow everything in one stream, right? Like, at least have to have a decent amount of luck. Because, I mean, it, it takes time to go through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of stones, right? It's not like, you know, we're just burning through it instantaneously. It's not Legends, where you can just skip every multi. Uh, bro, I'm telling y'all, if, if the day they give us a summon skip, man, my summon streams are going to be real fast, dude. We're uh, Ten-minute summon streams. We're busting through 5,000 stones in 10 minutes, man. <laughs> I don't need to see none of these animations or nothing. We're skipping through everything. Just boop, 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 boop. All right, we're done. Cool. Out of here, man. I hate summoning. I do. I I despise this shit so much. Because I just... I mean, no one has been fucked like me in this in this game. Like, let's just be, let's just, let's just be real, right? Like, I've done so much of these. I don't, I'm not doing re-roll accounts and shit like that. Like, this is actually me pouring... Let me keep in mind that every multi is like 30 bucks or something like that, right? So it's like, when we go like, what are we now? Like 1,500 stones since our last crown? Like, you do the math, right? Like, yeah, I goddamn hate summoning. Ugh. All right, get me out of here, man. Now I'm at the point where I'm starting to get really annoyed. And when I get really annoyed, either my commentary is going to fall off, or I'm going to start to get real goofy. One of the two things are going to happen here. Should I pull up, like, a Goresh video to watch while we're summoning? Jesus, dude. The, they really did this? Oh, my God. It's an eight-featured unit banner. It's not that bad. Like, come on. I remember, Yellow Queen LR banners used to be 14 characters, dude. Now it's eight. Like, it, it, it's actually insane. Like, I, I used to rainbow, like, those 14-character LR banners, and I'd be rainbowing the character in like 8,000 stones or something like that, right? Which was still bad luck. And I, I feel like I feel like a lot of like 7 and 8 unit banners, I'm still rainbowing characters in like seven or 8,000. Like it, it doesn't... They, they shaved off half of the banner and I'm still taking the same amount of damn summons here. I feel like we're not really getting featured units. Am I crazy? I feel like we've pulled 100 SSRs in this video and like 20 are featured. It's just, we're just getting all garbage. Just all garbage. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. For real. How long has it been? Didn't we get Krill? We had our third Krillin. We are like 3,500 stones, right? So we are like 1,500 since last Krillin? God damn this game. Bullshit. So I know. Uh-huh. Pan. Yep, that Pan still needs the EZA, by the way. She's she's a STR Super Saiyan 4 Goku sub EZA. Her and that Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. Could be interesting. I wonder... I mean, I, I would almost think that an upcoming dual Dokkan Fest... I mean, I remember, I think, like, in 29, 2019, I was thinking, like, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and baby Dokkan Fest. 
Um, I think that's something we could see. Bro, we just... Um, because Baby is another character that really needs a Dokkan Fest. Like, 50 minutes ago in the same video, I talked about Demon King Piccolo badly needing a Dokkan Fest. Baby is another one of those characters. All right, here we go. Um, Cooler, Super Saiyan 3, Loser, Goku. Which one? Who is it? By the way, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, I feel like we have two sort of, like, iconic kind of, like, animation type things where we could get new Super Saiyan 3 Goku characters. The Dragon, Dragon Fist... We don't have, like, a high-quality Dragon Fist animation. We only have, like, you know, the 2016 Kamehameha version of Dragon Fist in Dokkan. Um, so that's going to be cool. When we get the Dragon Fist, I wonder... I mean, that that feels like that could be almost, like, anniversary level to me. Or Tanabata. LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. A again, Dragon Fist with good animations. I feel like they could do that. Um, I also think they could do... Like a Super Saiyan 3 Goku from the Janemba movie. The Tech Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that character. Uh, like, think of the the attack he does. Like, that kind of... The, what do they call They call it, like, the Twin Dragon Dive or something like that. Let me look that up. What What is that called? Can we please pull one of these pieces of shit? I'm sick of this. Come on. Uh, let me let me look up that Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But I feel like they could do, they could do like, an intro, right? You know, um... So we'd have the voice acting uh, of Goku transforming into Super Saiyan 3. And then that, that Super Attack animation would be fire. Super Dragon Twin Fists is what it's called. So that's two different Super Saiyan 3 Goku characters we could get that would be fire. One of them would be Angel Super Saiyan 3. And the other would just be Super Saiyan 3. Actually, now that I'm, I'm curious. Let me look at those two names. Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel and regular... Oh, yeah. Super Saiyan 3 Goku Angel is completely dead. Oh, my God. All you have is that Tech Dokkan Fest. The Tech Free-to-Play character. Who hasn't easy it yet? There's Krillin. Jesus, finally. We're one copy away from Piccolo Jr. Let's just finish him. We'll just... We'll just we're one copy away. Let's just finish. There's no point in not doing it. Might as well. It'll help me. It'll help either me or my friends for Chain Battle. I don't think I'm going to Rainbow Goku's SSR because I don't even have him. But, I mean, Piccolo, we're one copy away. I'll just, we'll just finish the bastard. It would be really nice if the game would just spit him out right here. That would be ideal, right? We'll see. Um, but, yeah, there, there's only three Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku cards. That's our first Shinab in the video, right? Oh, God. Um, the Tech Dokkan Fest, the Tech Free-to-Play, and then the Physical Free-to-Play one. The physical free-to-play character does kind of suck balls, but I remember I was thinking about it, and I feel like he is pretty easy to easy, probably for newer players. Like, it's not that tough. And he can get those good equips from the, the quest mode. Could be a decent character for, like, new players. Oh, my God. Normal Super Saiyan 3 Goku's completely dead, too. Oh, yeah, dude. That Those... We could get two Super Saiyan 3 Gokus, both of those. I gotta I gotta talk to Rai about this. Bro, buckle in. Both Super Saiyan 3s are dead. Because, you know, the Super Saiyan 3 Goku I've been slandering in this video. Well, it's not slander because it's true. I mean, he sucks now. He was a god on release, for sure. Uh, but remember, he's just a Super Saiyan 2 Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan 3. Right? And then we have, like, the, the Int one. Uh, the in Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he's probably... Him and Maja, Tech Majin Vegito will probably easy A soon. Uh, but, I mean, they, they're transforming characters, right? Like, that's going to be a Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel, which is another dead character name. I feel like they... And and that that Super Saiyan 2 Goku's animations are not that good. Right? Like, I, they, could, they could give us a better Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel animation. At this point, I'm just looking through Goku's... We're going to get a million more Gokus, right? We could get, like, a nice blue Goku from the Tournament of Power looking at it. And from the future Trunks arc. Although, I'm sure what I think is going to happen with um, blue Goku and blue Vegeta from the future Trunks arc, I bet a lot of their cool attacks and stuff like that that, that they do while fo fighting Goku Black and Zamasu, I feel like that's probably going to be used on, like, a, a blue Goku and blue Vegeta that fuse in a blue Vegito, right? Like, that would make a ton of sense. That could be Tanabata or Worldwide Download Celebration. But it, it's just been years since they've really given us Vegito cards. We've gotten a couple of Vegito easy A's, but that's it. All right, come on, man. Just give me a Majunior and let's get out of here. It's now been a super long time since we've gotten Majunior. How long is this video? 
Nobody's watching this shit. What is this? 35 minutes of summoning... Of 35 minutes of me pulling, like, SR Gohans and SR Fat Janembas, man. Yeah. This, this is what people are signing up for. Let, show me you pulling 150 Fat Janembas in one video. That damn Krillin. How many times have we pulled that Krillin, dude? I guess I don't mind pulling that Krillin, actually, because, uh... Krillin is an... I do have a lot of Krillin characters. I have to get to SA-10 as well. Oh, you know, we've done all these summons too. No Zeno. No Goku Black Rift. No Whis. I think I got all animations on these banners though. On my stream, I believe I did get a Whis, Zeno, and Goku Black Rift. I maintain Goku Black Rift is the best animation because it's like there's no drama. It's just oh thank God we pulled the unit. Sigh of relief, right? But I mean that's it. It's different for me summoning compared to other people. For me, every you know we pull the character. It's not oh my God I'm so happy. Yes, it's like oh sigh of relief. Thank God we're done, right? But the Goku Black Rift pops right up and it's like oh yeah, thank you dude. We got him. We're 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 out of this nonsense. All right, Dokkan, I got other videos and showcases to record, so... Oh, my God. Speaking of character, that Goku, bro, the early Dragon Ball Z movies, they could do a lot. I, so, the second movie, World's Strongest, we're going to get stuff from World's Strongest eventually. There is some limited stuff from it in quest mode, including that Piccolo, um, who would be a different named character for the Namekian team. That would be fire. But I think we could get an LR Roshi, Goku, and Krillin from the second Dragon Ball Z movie, because they do a triple Kamehameha. I think that could be an LR, easily. I think we can get a, a Dr. Wheelo Dokkan Fest, and then that could be the LR. And then remember, three movies in a row. That one, World's Strongest, movie two. Uh, Tree of Might, Turles movie, movie three. And then Lord Slug, uh, the fourth movie. Three movies in a row, Goku finishes with the Spirit Bomb. So, I've always felt like they could do... I mean, the Lord Slug movie Goku, you know, he would get his own Dokkan Fest. Please be Piccolo Jr. It would include the full Super Saiyan. I I've been telling people this, too. It We're going to get, like, the full Super Saiyan Goku. Oh, thank God. Stuff that he does. We're going to get that. But it's not going to be a full Super Saiyan. I'm telling, I'm telling you guys, just watch. Pull this clip and, and bring it up in the future when he comes out. It's going to be either a base Goku or a Kaioken Goku that is doing the attacks and the stuff that full Super Saiyan Goku did. We're going to get those animations, but it's going to be on a, a base Goku or a Kaioken Goku. I'm telling y'all. Um, but there we go. Cool. So this 2,500-ish uh, is about how much stones we went. Um, I mean, this wasn't really that bad. It was only, what, like another 200, 250 stones after we rainbowed Krillin. So we got our 10 Piccolo Juniors, and then we got Krillin done as well. Okay. And again, remember, Piccolo Jr. does have a different name than um, the TUR. So they can link together. Although I don't think Piccolo Jr.'s SSR is really good enough to run, but whatever. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hate summoning, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> bye. Bye, 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 bye.